Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Robert and today I'm bringing to you the full drop list for this week, which is week 18 of the spring summer season. This week is going to be the spring teas, not the spring teas, the summer teas. And yeah, there's not really much to say. We are getting a box logo, but I don't really count it as a box logo because it's the chalk logo tea or the cause one. I don't really think that is a box logo in my personal opinion, but you know, people call it what they would call it at the end of the day. And yeah, there are a couple of others that are okay dropping this week. I'm not really a massive fan of all of the teas. There are only two or three that I really do actually like or think are okay. Recently, or in general, I think Supreme Teas have just been going on the down because they just haven't really been that great. There's just no creativity or anything special to a lot of them. And yeah, anyway, we're just going to get into this list. Okay, so getting straight into the list. As I said, we've got the Cause Chalk logo tea. Chalk logo, not box logo, just keep that in mind. A lot of people are calling it a box logo, I just don't think it is in the end. Uh, and to be honest, it looks a bit thicker than I was expecting it to be. On the other pieces, I'm sure that it wasn't as thick or the lines weren't as thick, but maybe that's just me. Colorways are going to be nice in like the end regardless, so yeah. I mean, it should be easy hopefully just to pick one up, but you never know because when it comes to weeks like this, people sometimes do multi carts and things and it can just go downhill. Following that, we have the 190 or 190 Bowery uh, iPhone case. iPhone cases with Supreme are a bit hit and miss. Uh, as you can see, there are going to be four iPhone 12 variations that it will fit. I don't know whether or not that means they will then have four different case sizes like they did with the previous one. Just remember that it might not just be one case, it might be multiple of the same sort of design. We then have the Augustus Pablo T. I actually thought this T was quite nice to be honest. Uh, large photographic, which I think is just clean to have. Uh, and yeah, the little Supreme box logo or small box logo uh, is there. Overall, it is a nice uh, photo, like T, but I don't think it's going to fly. Uh, I think it's just up there because it is one of the better ones that is dropping as an overall. Following that, we've got the Milano T. Uh, I see a lot of pieces like this or a lot of tees like this in some colorways like black or the more uh, obscure of like greens and things. Sometimes going up in price and selling purely because of the font, the layout and just how clean it is. I don't know what it is about them, but in general, just some of them that are like this or have this sort of layout or have some smaller font to them with the larger font, they just tend to do well. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. But yeah, that's why it's a bit higher up on the list because that happens with it. We then have the snake tea, which is actually one of my favorite uh, coming out of this week. I don't know why it's this far down because I think it's actually one of the better ones. Uh, at least it's got some sort of design to it and a bit of flair to it. Uh, I think the black colorway just looks great in it, and I'm sure that the other colorways will definitely look decent as well. Personally for me, I do just think that it is one of the better ones coming out of this week, because when you compare it to the other ones, it's at least got something to it. Uh, the font layout and everything I think is great, and that it's different sizing and things to it. I just think that it's a cool little tee, and it's quite a large graphic in the end. Like You're going to be going from like here to, like, like I'd just say, like above your belly button, probably-ish, in like size for it. So, yeah. We then have the uh, Logo Camo uh, Duvet set, and, well, Duvet and Pillow set. Uh, dropping this week if there was like a more cream natural colorway to this I would 100% go to it because if you don't know it I can't zoom like that, but uh, if you don't know it basically just says supreme throughout That's what all of these are, but they're in different colors to mimic uh, Camo colorways in the end. I think that's a really cool idea to do. Uh, I definitely think the middle and the right colorway the blue and like the red or like cow camo colorway uh, are the better two i'm not too much a fan of like the tan military i think if there was a more so natural like cream color i would have gone for it but yeah i still think that it's a cool piece and they don't really do too many like pillow duvet sets nowadays it's only like an every now and again occurrence so yeah we then have the does it work tea dropping this week i think this tea is also uh, a cool one. I just wish that the graphic was either larger on the back, like central in the back, just larger, or that it was a long sleeve tee because when long sleeve tees have graphics near to like the bottom corners, it sort of balances it out. But yeah, I still think that it's a cool piece in the end. We then have the string waist bag, another just sort of different waist bag, but I think that the I don't know, I think the top colorway is actually quite cool just because of the vibrancy, but maybe other people won't see it in that way. And yeah, I'm not really too much a fan of black colorway, but the top colorway is nice. We then have the Anarchy Tea. 
this tea I just I'm just not really a fan of like just leave it with the anarchy going the way that it was don't do it backwards like it's I don't know whether it's trying to be like a hip sort of thing or do something with it I don't know but it just it misses the mark by a long shot we then have the string tote to match the waist bag and yeah yeah again I do just like the more vibrant colorway I think that's just nice going with the whole Bowery sort of scene uh, we've got the rain short sleeve shirt with this piece I think that the vibrant colorway instead of the red is just the better one it just stands out more it just yeah it just looks better that just looks so much better than it just being completely red it's just really nice like that so yeah going with the whole string series we've got the camp cap yeah again I'm just gonna go with the more vibrant colorway but also I'd say like the purple uh, sort of violet color or the natural like cream colorway is also nice. The other colorways are also okay, but I think that the central three are the best out of it. To finish off the tees uh, for this season, I suppose we have the lightning long sleeve. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest. I mean, I like some pieces that have, you know, big back graphic. You know, you've got me there. You've got some aspects to the front where it says Supreme down the sleeves, but I don't know. I, I just think it misses the mark. It's cool. It is cool, but I, yeah, it just, it was going to like hit and then it just veered off, so. We've then got the old English pieces being the old English wrap hoodie and sweatpant. Uh, to be honest, these aren't too bad. They're not for me, I'll be real, because they've done so many of these pieces where it goes around from front to back and it's just getting a bit boring at this point in time. Colorways are okay, but in general, I'd probably just say that I like the royal or the blue colorway. Uh, the same for the sweatpant. I probably put it with the same of the blue and maybe the black colorway, but yeah, it really just doesn't do too much for me. It's not really anything standout and special. At least it's something different, but yeah, it just really doesn't do anything for me. And to cap off the week, we've got the last couple of pieces, starting off with the last string piece uh, being the Crusher. Crushers tend to do well, but I don't know about this one. I'd probably opt for the same three that I said before, but it'd probably just be the black colorway that would be the best one. But you never know. I do like this uh, multi colorway, but yeah, that's how crushers tend to go. It's normally black colorway that does the best, but you never know. We could be surprised. We've then got the Jamie Reed shirt, which again, just the font type just reminds me of like Coca Cola, especially in the red with the white colorway. Yeah, it just reminds me of that. It's upside down, which I mean, it's not going to be as legible. But saying that, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not really a massive fan of it. Uh, I do sort of like how it does mimic Coca-Cola, but at the same time, eh. <laughs> to finish off this week, we've got the mesh warm-up top. Yeah, no, no, no. I was going to say, like, can I look at it? And... No, no. If it didn't have uh, this type of material here, no. But then again, it needs that, I think. Otherwise, it would just be fully mesh. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't give it a pass. I can't. Yeah, it's not for me. It's not for me. We move on. <laughs> it's not for me. Uh, so that's going to finish off this week in the end. To be honest, I'd say like 30% is good. The rest is eh. There are some aspects to it that I like. Some colorways and things. Some designs that are okay. But across the board, we do have like a good chunk of just bad pieces in the end dropping. Personally for me, I'm going to try for the cause piece or the snake uh, T and that's probably just going to cover it in the end and yeah that is about it so as per norm let me know down below what you're going to be going for what colorway what size or whether you're going to be skipping the week whether you've got an in-store spot and other than that if there are any updates to the list just go and check out either supreme community or drops by J as per norm and yeah that is going to cover it so thank you for watching I hope that you have a good day and I will see you all next time peace